Well, good morning, Pine Belt. Another back to school, back to work morning out there. Today, though, also a first alert weather day, as you see, actually, from today until about Friday. Uh, first alert weather day, thanks to that heat, which has been hot and humid pretty much since winter, or at least the beginning of spring. But uh, today going to be some of the hottest and most humid we've had yet. You see starting off 76 here at Jones College in Ellisville as we look the east to the rising sun. 78 feels like 80 here in Hattiesburg as we use a new and improved USM camera and see that hazy air with clear skies. Today going to be another hot one getting up into the uh, low 100s up to about 105. My expected high for today slightly higher than yesterday, which wasn't honestly all that hotter than the day before. So it's not a dramatic you're going to walk outside and things have burst into flame kind of thing, but uh, potentially record breaking heat or record tying at least uh, out there. So a D minus beautiful, but dangerously hot once again. The uh, all time high recorded temperature for the Hattiesburg area is 106, which was uh, set in the 40s and the 50s, I believe, or, or the 80s and the 50s, excuse me. Uh, so today uh, could potentially tie that. My high right now has us one degree south of that, but you see it's going to be hot out there. Excessive heat warnings across the board, which uh, we did have very recently, but uh, up until then, we've got a little break from that. A whole lot of advisories, but now those warnings across the board. So once again, this pretty much where any of us would be after five to 10 minutes working outside in these conditions. So if you feel that, then make sure you can cool down, drink some water, take a shady break, uh, do the best you can there. I like to uh, loose light fitting clothing, big shady hat. That's my favorite thing there. But if you go from this towards any of these right here, you do need to involve medical professionals or law enforcement, honestly, uh, because you uh, have gone too far. You've now got to cool down and hydrate faster than you technically or medically would be able to on your own drinking water and, and being in AC. So uh, definitely monitor yourself and if you start feeling yourself going too far then try to back it off a little bit because as you see we're still sitting 79 there in Poplarville and Wiggins 75 the cool end on the area up there in Raleigh and Bay Springs actually it's Taylorsville bringing it in at 73 it just dropped two degrees there but you factor in the heat humidity get the heat index again you're still looking at low 80s out there 81 for Purvis and Lumberton uh, 75 and 73 there are still the only cool spots and as we head into the afternoon we are again looking at some uh, low one teens even towards the mid teens there uh, expected and that's going to get us that heat uh, uh, warning and then you see as we head into the night not much cooling going to happen a very warm morning with expected temperatures around 80 degrees just to bump up again as we head into tomorrow afternoon but you're still seeing a lot of low one teens we're only going to cool like one degree. So once things start cooling, it'll be very slow and you see the humidity is going to stay pretty steady. Thankfully, that's about two degrees below where it was last week, but that's still hot enough, especially with these 105s and 104s like for tomorrow and then dropping down as low as 102, the cool spot this week before we start working our way back up. Eventually a cold front moves in. Look at that. Big drop there into the mid 90s, which is still above average and without a whole lot of rain. You'll only start seeing that move in once that front really closes in. And even then, until Tuesday, I would say it's pretty spotty out there. So not going to see too much action. That front does start making it towards us. It's still going to require the instability of heating each day. Even there on Monday into Tuesday, once that front finally passes, we're still going to be trending above average, as you can see here. And when you look at the numbers, it doesn't look any better. Today's 105 does eventually cool, but we'll be very very close to that as we start off next week. Thankfully, we don't end it that way.